Dave Lander with DaveLander.com here. This is your podcast for October 26, 2015. Random thoughts. To be successful as a trader, all you have to do is. All you have to do is are six words that I often hear from my smoking hot wife, Marcy. This could be from what appears to be a simple honeydew to major reconstruction. As a weekend DIY warrior, I seem to be in the midst of the latter. Apparently, whoever built the master bath must have built fun houses in their prior career. For starters, the floor wasn't level, the walls weren't square or plumb, and the sewer pipe was tilted in the wrong direction. I guess they didn't own a level or just didn't know that SH star T flows down the hill. Note that you freshly married guys out there. Never let your wife see you run a chop saw or replace an intake manifold. Otherwise, she'll put your skills to work. And the point is, Dave, your home remodeling stories are fascinating, but what does this have to do with trading? Well, things on the surface seem a lot easier than they really are. In trading, all you have to do is, one, identify an existing or developing trend, two, identify a place to get on board, i.e., a setup, for me, that's usually a pullback-related pattern, three, wait for an entry, four, place a stop just in case you are wrong, five, take partial profits if blessed, six, trail a stop higher. That's pretty much trading. Yet, in reality, the quote, in theory, unquote, versus reality thing rids its ugly head. People trade in less than ideal conditions, e.g. in stocks that look like an electrocardiogram. They attempt to use complex or arcane methods in order to look smart versus make money. They try to pick tops or bottoms. They tend to get in early thinking the stock is, quote, on sale, unquote. They don't honor their stops. They forget that, quote, as in birth control, hope is not a strategy, unquote. They micromanage themselves out of perfectly good positions right before they take off. Chasing rainbows. The other thing that many do is to go off to chase rainbows as soon as the methodology appears to have stopped working. I recently mentioned this in a half-bitching manner to a retired money manager who used to run billions. He said, Dave, welcome to year six of a bull market. Obviously, I don't like losing clients, but there's more to it than that. I actually like to see people succeed and stick to a viable methodology. Any viable methodology. Unfortunately, these people remain perpetually out of phase for 5, 10, and even 15 years or more. They seem to come back to me every few years and give this trend trading thingy a go. At some point, they just need to find one thing and stick with it. It's not my way or highway. Find something viable, anything viable, and then stick with it. Now, don't get me wrong. Trading isn't easy, but it's not nearly as difficult as most try to make it. When you boil it all down, you need to ask yourself, are you doing the aforementioned six things or are you not following your plan? To the markets. As I often preach, everything works better with trend, and the longer-term bull market has spoiled many, giving them comfort in that it always comes back. This time might be no different. The P's, S&P 500, have rallied 10% in less than one month. That's nothing to sneeze at. The thing is, it won't always come back. It's a recently mentioned markets go up and markets go down thing. Something that people say duh to unless you tell them it might be going down. The rally has excuse me. The rally has the market obviously overbought. It is difficult for a market to run a race right out there. It has ran a race. Markets usually need to take a breather after such moves. It also has it pushing into overhead supply. The combination of these two will likely put some pressure on the market. Take things one day at a time though. I'm not obstinate at least when it comes to markets. As a trend follower, if the market makes new highs and stays there, I'll be forced to follow along. Wow, what a day in the quack, NASDAQ. It tacked on over 2.25% in a party like its 1999 fashion. So far, it's cutting through overhead supply like butter. The Russell, IWM, is bringing up the rear, sort of. It was up, but not nearly as much as its brethren. The top, which appears to have started way back in 2013, still appears to remain in place here. Most areas have improved with the recent rally. However, I do find it interesting that there's still quite a few debacle du jours on both an individual stock basis and within the sectors. For instance, selected retail and REITs got hit on Friday along with some other areas in spite of the market. I still like energies and metals and mining, but the bottoms here have gone from process to event and now back to process. In other words, they once again seem to be taking their time to bottom. So what do we do? Based on the above, I think it's too soon to start kissing each other just yet. Take things one day at a time, though. Stop me if you heard that before. Do one of your stops if you were smart enough to take shorts during the last bill. Hey, Big Dave, what's smart about that? Well, sometimes doing the right thing doesn't always pay off, but longer term, it's the thing to do. 
On the long side, I still like the commodity-related areas, but make sure you wait for your entries based on the fact that they seem to be digesting their recent gains. For the most part, I think now's the time to let things shake out. Will we return to the eternal sunshine market that we've mostly seen since 2009? I don't know. I'm just going to continue to follow along. That's, quote, all you have to do, unquote. Best of luck with your trading today. Dave.